what's up fam this is kentriarch if you're new here welcome to the family and if you're returning thanks for being a part of it and hey if you are subscribed and coming back and watching my videos i would absolutely love to hear from you use that comment section uh say hi let me know how your day is going i would absolutely love to get to know you guys uh, you also can join my discord and we can chat in there but back to the video it is Friday, and this week we are going to be featuring the Exotic Fusion Rifle Bastion. This was a suggestion from Shima and Lycan, so I really appreciate that, you two. It ended up being a great suggestion because Bungie actually featured this weapon in their TWAB this week as far as the upcoming changes, so we will dive into that as well. But before we get started, please help me out by giving those like and subscribe buttons a little tickle tickle, as well as following me on my social media and Discord. Links in the description below. Alright, let's get to it. As mentioned, Bastion is an exotic fusion rifle with four charges in the magazine and a little bit slower charge time of 780. That is due to one of its perks, so let's go ahead and dive into those. First up, we have the intrinsic trait, Saint's Fist. Charge to fire three spreads of kinetic slugs. First column, we have Hammer Forge Rifling for increased range. Next up, we have Liquid Coils for increased impact damage and slower charge time in the third column we have breakthrough a portion of this weapon's damage bypasses elemental shields and in the final column we have composite stock slightly increases stability and slightly increases handling speed now when i first got my hands on this fusion rifle my first thought was what the f is saint's fist so i basically took one of those bursts and slowed it down for you here Now, if you're like me, I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot of damage numbers. So, here's an image of the first spread of kinetic slugs. You can see on the right-hand side that we have three slugs, and then it's kind of hard to tell, but on the left-hand side, we actually have four slugs that hit, or a total of seven kinetic slugs per spread. Now, Saint's Fist fires off three spreads, so we get a grand total of 21 slugs per burst with each slug doing 3,443 damage, we get about 24,100 per spread, and then that gives us a grand total of 72,300 damage per burst. My next question is, how does this weapon fare against another weapon that would be used in a similar fashion? So I decided, why not put it up against one of the best? Therefore, I chose Heritage the shotgun from the Deep Zone Crypt Raid. So I grabbed my Heritage, got a few headshots off on an Ogre, and I was basically getting about 49,000 each time consistently. Now, Heritage fires a little bit faster than Bastion, but even if you figure, you know, two bursts from Bastion per three shots of Heritage, the total damage actually comes out pretty close. I was pretty impressed that this fusion rifle could keep up with one of the top tier weapons in this meta. All right, how does Bastion fare as far as PVE goes? Well, this weapon is not for ad clear, so make sure you bring something else in your loadout to take care of that. However, what it is great at is single target damage, so definitely whip this out for your powerful enemies. It'll take down a yellow bar in one burst, and it'll take down a champion in two to three bursts. I was actually able to take down a barrier champion without it ever getting its barrier up. The biggest issue with Bastion is the fact that it takes up an exotic. Why 
would you use up your exotic and use bastion when you can just throw on heritage to do the same amount of damage that alone is probably why you don't see a whole lot of people running this weapon however bungie did mention in their twad this last week that they will be allowing bastion to stun unstoppable champions intrinsically which should boost this weapon's usage with all that being said i still give this fusion rifle the triple f rating of a tier in pve and last but not least how does bastion fare as far as pvp goes this fusion rifle only takes one burst to kill and actually has some pretty decent range to boot as seen in the clip right here However, you will need to take some time to practice with this weapon. It has some drawbacks as far as its range and charge time. You absolutely have to learn the range on this weapon. If you don't kill that guardian in that first burst, you are basically a sitting duck. Secondly, the charge time on Bastion is pretty wicked. So you have to think ahead and in most cases pre-charge before engaging opponents. Once you learn how to handle those drawbacks, this gun can be pretty lethal and a nice change of pace from your typical shotgun. Just like in PvE, I give Bastion the triple F rating of A tier in PvP. Alright, let me know your thoughts on Bastion in the comment section down below, and don't forget to offer up your suggestion for next week's triple F video. As always, please help me out by giving those like and subscribe buttons a little tickle tickle. It really does make a huge difference for me as I climb that ladder to a thousand subscribers. Until next time, fam, take care.